Have you tried uh, ChatGPT or any of the other really cool AI that uh, is exploding on the market lately? I'm recording this on March March 2nd, uh, 2023. I wonder if software engineers have uh, had their day, right? By, by the way, I don't want all my software engineer friends to get mad at me or I, anybody that's a software engineer listening to this podcast, but I'm just using you, you guys as, as an example. There's many other examples I could use, but software engineers in particular – over the last uh, 10 years, I guess, longer, they really have had their moment, right? I'm in the recruiting space, right? We recruit here at RiderFlex for a living. That's our day job besides the podcast. So we recruit people all the time, lots of positions in tech. Software engineers generally are pretty damn cocky. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Most of them are pretty cocky because for years they've just been in very high demand. They can, they can really write their own ticket uh, if they're good for the most part. Well, I'm watching chat GPT and I'm watching all this AI come out and I'm thinking to myself, mm, okay, well, maybe you had your moment. <laughs> maybe, maybe you had your moment, right? Like, Ooh, boy, I don't know. Is it going to eliminate some jobs there on the coding end? Maybe I don't want to scare you or anything. So the point of this episode is not to pick on software engineers and and let you know that you, you had your Super Bowl moment and, and it's over. I'm not that's not the point of the episode. Here's the real point of the episode. The point is this. If you are in a job that is in very high demand and you get called by recruiters all the time, there's no need to be an asshole and no need to be overly cocky. In fact, I encourage you to be super friendly and network and make good connections that can benefit you in the future. That is especially important right now with the light speed advancement of artificial intelligence. I mean, hell, it could replace a bunch of jobs, okay, including a bunch of jobs in the recruiting field, okay, even for my own uh, line of work. And so I want to encourage all of us that uh, uh, right now is a good time to make friends and win and influence people, win over and influence people, right? And get to know people and network because, man, with, with the speed that AI is moving, I don't know what it's going to eliminate. <laughs> Maybe none of us will be working, right? And we'll all just be friends and hang out. I don't know. <laughs> but But that's the point, you know, just because you're in a very high demand, uh, as a candidate, don't be rude to people. Don't be overly cocky. Make friends. You never know. AI could be uh, pushing your job uh, away pretty soon too, and you're going to need those uh, connections. And people are going to want to, or people are going to remember the ones that were friendly, right? Uh, and I can think of a lot of software engineers uh, that I've dealt with over the years that uh, if they call me for help, guess what? I'm not going to call them back. <laughs> and there is your Rider Flex tip of the day. Oh, 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 oh,